Okay, so I spun a little bit. I realized I am really bad at this point. It's my first time, of course, I'm going to be bad. At um, measuring thickness of the yarn, or of the uh, roving, in order to spin it into the yarn. So I just made a little, I just took a small piece, spun it, and then crocheted it. So this, this little guy was a very small piece. You can see it is. Get a little bit. You can see it is pretty thick right now. Some parts where it's really thick, like this one, and some parts it'll start getting you know, thin and thick. You'll see down here. This where it starts getting really thick at some parts, especially when I first started. And then looking to the sides, you can see that the yarn is different th thickness on that. Um, so I'm going to have to practice quite a bit. I did buy a lot of roving. I kind of bought the last of the uh, bit that they had in the store. But the store is going out of business, and I wasn't really sure where I'd get any local roving. Um, so I thought I might as well, since it's going out of store, or going out of business, um, and everything's 30% off anyways. <laughs> I'm just buying it. <laughs> anyways, I made the o my own, um, I made my own spindle to save money. Oh, here's how it actually attached. So, I put the knot down at the base. Did just a yeah. so I take the knot, put it against it, make the loop, take this end, push it through the loop, pull so the knot is at the base. There's a little knot right there. And then Tuck it up underneath the spindle. Pull this up. I find, in at least in my little bit of using this that I've done, that if you you cannot hook it when it's in the front, hooking it from the side will make it come undone. But if you come from behind the hook and then hook it, it stays a lot better when you're spinning. Um, and my spindle is actually, because I use a straight dowel, I tried to find a sh the straightest as I could, so I went through all the ones that were in the bin and rolled them on the floor. Because I know the floor is flat, because it has to be. Um, so I've rolled them on the floor. This was the one that had the least amount of wobble as I rolled it on the floor. Um, so that's how I chose this dowel um, on that, and I used oak because it's a stronger wood, and I want this to last because I want to be able to use it forever, so I don't really want to make another one. Um, and then I just find a nice little hook. The cardboard, I am probably going to replace this. I It is very well centered, um, and you can tell that by the way it's spinning, is if I spin, it stays it doesn't have a much of a wobble until well, I'm unspinning right now. Until then, so. And. It doesn't really have too much of a wobble, which is good. You don't want it to. Um, and then I'll probably find a way to secure this better because I, I notice that this moves. Um, and I don't want this to move, so I will probably do a little rubber band up top and a rubber band right directly underneath where this is going to tuck over it. So I don't want the, the uh, actual fibers to be winding with the rubber, to be getting caught on the rubber band when I'm undoing everything. Um, so yeah, and I'll probably, 
probably get some tape or something to put around here because this is collecting a bit of fiber on the end of it. So I'll try to find a way. Maybe I'll use electric tape. It'll be a little bit smoother than um, scotch tape and duct tape. So I'll probably use electric tape on that. I'll use electric tape underneath. Okay. Anyways, um, so this is my spindle. Took me forever to get this nice and smooth it is. I didn't use anything except a knife. And then I sanded this with my itty bitty tiny sander. Cute and adorable. And it works. So, anyways. I'm going to continue spinning and practice and practice until I can get some nice yarn that I can actually do a decent project with. Bye-bye.